I'd like to start by asking you about the big picture. Um, you at Gavi are one of the leaders of COVAX, the coalition that is setting out to vaccinate the world. Where do we stand with these huge goals in 2021 of 2 billion doses delivered and the more ambitious goals even of 2022? So first of all, um, when COVAX was set up, um, we knew the previous history, which is um, when the swine flu pandemic happened in 2009, for example, vaccines were bought up by wealthy countries and didn't get to the developing world. And we knew that would be risk. But of course, we didn't know whether any of the vaccines would work. And I think we've been quite lucky that um, this turns out to be an organism pretty easy to make vaccines. And as you've seen, we now have many, many successful vaccines um, that have um, uh, been able to show protection. Right now, there's uh, 24 odd vaccines that are being used somewhere in the world. So that's the good news. So when we set our goals, what we realized was that mostly it was the elderly who were dying and it was people who had other comorbidities. And so we looked at trying to get to that group and healthcare workers, because obviously they are the ones protecting the healthcare system. So the goal was try to vaccinate all healthcare workers, all of the elderly and all of those at high risk by the end of 2021. And that's where the number of around 2 billion came from. And that's about 20% of those populations. Um, it turns out that we will probably not get there quite at the end of 2021. It may slip a little bit into January or February, but I think we're on track broadly towards those numbers. But the challenge has been there are many barriers that have been put in place, export bans, vaccine nationalism. I'm sure we'll talk about some of these, and it has made it very, very difficult. And as of today, Low-income countries are not well covered. High-income countries are doing better, although not perfectly, and most of the doses have gone to high-income countries. 